Thank you to Twinmotion for sponsoring this video. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a project on Twinmotion. And even though this is sponsored by Twinmotion, you can see in my older videos that I've been using their program for quite a while because I honestly do enjoy it. Now once your project is imported into Twinmotion, it's really easy to add materials. All you do is you select from all the different kinds of materials that Twinmotion has to offer and you simply drag and drop onto the layer where you want the material to be applied. You could change the color, you could change the opacity, you could change the reflection. There's every Every material comes with its own attributes that you can change. One of my favorite things about Twinmotion is the tools they offer. For example, they have the vegetation paint and the vegetation scatter. Those tools are super helpful and they make this so easy. Basically, you drag and drop all these different types of materials that you want to use or vegetation rather. You can use bushes, grass combine them together and then using the paint tool you basically paint the area and it automatically generates that group for you and you can go back and change the different types of density from each of the elements that you presented in the group. And like I said, there's just a ton of different plants that you could use to enhance the overall experience of your project. Now, one of my favorite things to do is actually to create the landscape. Sometimes in modeling programs, it's kind of a pain to create your landscape, but Twinmotion makes it like super easy to do that. There's a bunch of different tools in the sculpting landscape that you can use. You can create berms, you can create peaks, you can create like jagged edge conditions. And there's even this tabletop tool that allows you to pick a point that you want to keep constant throughout the project. You hold it and then it creates like this flat plane. You can see this is incredible. I've spent just a few minutes on this project and I already have a wide array of vegetation that's present on my project along with materials and a pretty complete uh, formed landscape. Now it's time to add some trees and adding trees is just as easy with the tools that I mentioned before. You can create another group of different trees, put them together and then using the little paint tool, you can start to paint on the areas around your project to create a forest in no time. It's really up to your imagination what kind of landscape and environment you want to create, but it's super easy. And the super cool thing is that at any point, if you want to go back, you click those groups and it'll allow you to change the density or even the types of plants that you had picked before. So you can always go back and edit this stuff. Nothing is set in stone in this project. Now that we have a somewhat realistic project going on, it's time to add some of the other features. We can start by adding uh, automobiles and there's tons of different automobiles you can use. There's a bunch of boats. There's pretty much anything you can imagine. You'll find it in this program. Now we got to add some people to the pool and these guys are walking on water. So we have to adjust that, but it's as simple as just dragging them down into the water. Cool, so now that we have our own scene, we're gonna go ahead and create our first image. And this is how you start to make those renderings. You basically create snapshots that stay saved in your project and you can always go back and edit them at a later time. Now here in the photo editor, you have the option to change the location, the weather, lighting, camera, and the format, which is the quality of the image. And you can use this to basically change all the aspects of the image to play around with your shadows in real time. And it's really cool because when you go ahead and you change the location of the project, you can actually specifically put where in the world this project is. And that allows you to create a realistic simulation of what sunlight would look like in that area. Now each image that you create will have its own set of different attributes. So if you change the time in one of the settings, then it won't change the time in the other ones. You could duplicate to keep the settings, but if you wanna create different types of shots, it's as simple as just creating a new image and changing the environment in that one. And here you can see that I'm focusing on this lovely couple enjoying their drinks out by the pool. It's a, it's a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this camera shot that I've chosen. <laughs> it's almost like they don't know that I'm here. And that's enough for pictures, but now it's time to make a quick video and you'll see it works almost like pictures. You basically add an image to the first frame where you want the camera to start panning and then you move over to the next frame, hit the little plus button. And just like that, you've created a video and you can create multiple of these and then put them together into one single video when you export. Speaking of export, it's so easy to do that. All you have to do is click image, select all, do the same thing for video and start to export. You select the location on your computer where you want to save that and just like that you have just saved all your images and your videos after it's done rendering and now rendering is not something that takes long at all for these images and this video it took about 10 minutes to do 
And then finally, one of the last things that this project, in my opinion, does extremely well and it's super easy to do is the VR support. So I'm gonna show you that. Just give me one moment to go get my VR headset. All right, so I'm back. Here's all my VR stuff. And you're gonna see how easy this is. Basically, all you have to do on Twinmotion after you connect your VR headset is click this little eyeball here, click the VR button, click that. And just like that, you're in VR. So let's go ahead and put these on and show you a little tour of what I see. Now, just because of the computer that I have currently, I can't put the ultimate graphics on. That is an option. If I was to come here to the settings, um, I can actually change the, the quality to ultra, but on this computer, if I do that, uh, this video would end right now and my computer would probably explode. So I'm not gonna do that. And so you can actually experience your whole entire project and notice that it is VR. So I could look around full 360 and I can uh, just go anywhere I want to. I can visit my friends over here. <laughs> and you saw how easy it was. I didn't have to download anything. I didn't have to take any extra steps. But there you guys have it. That's how easy it is to create a whole entire, not only rendering, but a whole entire presentation on Twinmotion from full rendered images that look extremely nice and extremely realistic, especially if you take more time than I did to actually tweak them to look better. Uh, you can make full videos, you can make panoramic views, which I didn't include in this video because that's not something that I'm interested in doing, but it's definitely an option that you have. You can do walkthrough presentations and probably one of the coolest things Twinmotion has to offer is the ability to make uh, VR experiences at the click of a couple of buttons. So that's why I like Twin Motion. Like I said, this is sponsored by Twin Motion. This video, um, and and I thank them for sponsoring me. But I've been using them for a, a, quite a long time, um, even before they reached out to sponsor this video. But um, since I'm talking about that, I just wanted to remind you guys that if you're a student or an educator, uh, or if you have Rhino 5.6 or 7, uh, you can download this program completely free. And even if you're not, you can still get the trial version and create some awesome things. And it's a perpetual trial, meaning it doesn't expire. You can use it forever. Um, that's completely free too. And they're actually, even if you're someone who's thinking about doing this, uh, using this program commercially, their prices are not bad. So you should definitely check it out. Check the link that's in my description. Um, and, and let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys use the program or if you've ever used it, or if you're thinking of using it, let me know down in the comments. Um, and of course, if this is an architecture channel, so I create all types of different types of architectural content. I do how to sometimes. Sometimes I do uh, showcasing of programs like I did here. Sometimes I talk about the experience of what it's like to be in the field of architecture. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure to hit subscribe and uh, check out some of my other videos and I'll see you guys down in the comments.